Ah, no. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. It's so bad, dude. Technical difficulties across the board, man. All right. For those of you watching, we're using the fancy camera today. It looks so much better. But where I have it sitting is right in the thoroughfare where the freaking microphone goes. So, like, I usually have my microphone right here. <laughs> right in front of the camera so now i've got the camera over here let's tilt it this way a little bit is that better is it closer we don't know but it's when i do that it blocks the screen i'm looking at i'm it's like right in front of chat what oh no 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 no. okay 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 all right we're just gonna have to live with it like this hey chicken man hey retro car collector hey ed pinkus glad you guys are all here we're still playing Resident Evil Code Veronica. Yes, yeah, still. I know, it's like the seventh stream of it. Oh my God, freaking, jeez, God. Is this going to work? Can I even pin it? Yeah, there we go. Do it, live the dream. Nice. I wish I could get this microphone closer to my mouth. I really do. <laughs> nothing I can do about it. There's just nothing I can do about it, man. There we go. Here we go. But it looks better, man. It's so much better. Like the quality of the picture and all that. You have to admit that. I can even do things like Increase the brightness. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, what are we on, dude? We're on like... I don't know what any of this stuff means. Standard look. Let's go with that. That's fine. We're just going to have... We're just going to have the microphone. No, I'm not on Twitch, dude. I'm on flipping YouTube. Obviously, you're on YouTube. How could I be on Twitch? Hey, Russell Campbell, what's up? How's it going, brother? I'm going to have to move this freaking microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, the best laid plans right they just like never work what if i do this yeah there we go that's better that's better but this thing cannot come forward anymore it is as forward as it can be it's it's touching the camera what if i what if i do this no, 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 no. Hey, Tony P, how's it going? I ordered a new mount for my camera. Right now it's on a tripod, and the tripod is, like, closed. So it's just sitting on three little feet, like, in between my two monitors. I'm going to sit back like this, maybe. No, it looks bad. Jeez. Here, we're going to try the... I'm going to see if I can pull it up on my phone. Let's do it. Hold on. Time out. I'm live. Here we go. Don't, don't, that's a Timu commercial. We're not sponsoring them. <laughs> all right, here we go. Chat. Full chat. All the chat, all the way up, buddy. There we go. Look at this. Yo, 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 Jesse James. Hey, this is way better, man. This is so much better. This is so much better. Is it, though? Man, it's not updating in time. It's not updating in real time on the stream I'm on. <laughs> no, not like this, man. It's so bad. I give up. I give up, dude. I'm just going to have to reach over here. You got one week off, dude. You can watch your whole stream. What time do I end streams, by the way? 11 o'clock. We play for three hours. Now, I watch my streams. I go back and listen to what all the dumb stuff I say and try not to say it next time. But as I was watching this one, I saw where I saw some of the clues about some of the places we were stuck, and now I know where to go. So one of them was that I didn't know how to open the or set the temperature on this freezer, and it says that it's like the date that the thing was made. It's December 8th, 12-8, I think. And then I remembered where... I'm supposed to put the crest that I have. So I have this crest. 
this crust right here, and it's in the room right next to where we're at. But I'm supposed to mix the chemical I get out of the refrigerator with this other chemical to uh, flipping, um, what's the word? Turn it into some other kind of chemical that lets me do things. I don't know why live chat isn't working. Live chat, why do you suck so bad? Okay, there's live chat. All right, we're gonna we're gonna leave it up. We're gonna try anyway. Yeah, the the chemical I need is the one that combines with this Clement A. So. A couple of you guys say something in chat so I can see if it updates over here on my phone so I actually know what I'm doing. Okay, now we just got to figure out how to get to that area we were in. You're watching the game, not so much you. Thanks, Ed Pincus. That's really rude to say. I don't believe anybody here feels the same as you, by the way. If you feel the same as Ed Pincus, if you're here for Resident Evil and not to see me, put it in the chat. Thanks, Russell Campbell. Thank you, Tony P. See, Ed Pincus, nobody's here to watch me play this game. Everybody's here to watch me. If they were here to watch this game, then they wouldn't have been here for the other streams I've done. But yeah, we're doing both, man. It's all about the experience of playing and finishing this game. Which I think we might be getting close to being to the end of it. Okay. So, the room we're going to is... Oh, down in the basement, I believe. I'm trying to remember how to get there. It's confusing. My most recent pickup, I got some stuff today. Uh, in in games, which is like, I guess, the almost like the U.S. distributor of strictly limited games. Um had a sale going on on Amazon, and they had a bunch of their games for like 14 bucks. So I got like four of those, and uh, I had some Amazon reward points. And uh, I was able to get them for free. <laughs> I paid nothing. I got four games for free. Tony P says, for me, and I only speak for myself, it's like work watch or like the people I wa work with. So I watch RNG Gamer because <laughs> I like to see him play this. All right. We can go with that. I don't know. I don't think this is the right way. I think I'm supposed to go out that like loading dock area almost. Right? Where do I go in here? It's not in here. That's the elevator. I don't think it'll let me in here, right? Yes, yeah, something's collapsed on the other side. It won't let me do it. I appreciate all the support, guys. Hello, Jen Masterby. How's it going, man? We're having a debate here. Ed Pincus thinks people are only here to watch Resident Evil and not watch me. What do you think? Hey, Nostalgia Retro Gamer. You you uh, you uh jump in on that comment, too. Ed Pincus says people don't want to see me. They just want to see Resident Evil. What do you think about that? You were watching some girl, I forgot her name. It was the same girl she was playing Donkey Kong Country. That could be really fun, actually. 
Oh man, I don't know that I want to go this flipping way. There's there's bad guys out there, dude. That's not where I want to go. That's definitely not where I want to go. But there is a back way around where the elevator comes out. I think I just have to go where the elevator is. Told you before this game pissed me off so many times. It's definitely not the game. Her name is Josie. She's a pop thriller YouTuber like you. Well known. Hey, Mike. How's it going, buddy? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a popular YouTuber. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Out there is certain death, right? I'm trying to think, man. How do I get back? I'm trying to get back to the room. Hmm. On the other side of the room where the flipping uh, ladder goes down. Where you like hang the shotgun up. There's a back way into that. I think I have to run out here and avoid these freaking idiot bad guys. Maybe I can blast him with the shotgun just real quick and just like... No, that's the bad way. That's the bad way over there. This is it. This is what I gotta do. I gotta jump up here. See, Nostalgia Retro Gamer, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Living someone's dream. Yeah, I bet, right? I should be 10K pretty soon. This is where I'm supposed to be. Okay. And then I go in here. It's a lot different when you watch women play compared to, to men, though. Not because they are bad or anything. Everyone in chat is like white knighting or telling her she's awesome. Yeah, I don't have any of that. <laughs> This is it. It's 12.8. Yes. 12.8. I watched my other stream and like we saw the answer like five minutes into the stream and then I freaking never, I didn't remember what it was. <laughs> I couldn't remember. Oh God. Oh, no. We never have to come back in here anyway, so just run out. Oh, my God. No, run out. Run out, dummy. Run out. Run out, dummy. Run out. <laughs> Ooh. Close call. <laughs> Thanks, Russell Campbell. I really appreciate that. And Ed Pincus, I didn't mean to pick on you, buddy. I just trying to prove a point. This isn't the kind of stream where you come here to watch the gameplay. It's the kind of stream where you come to hang out. Dude, these earphones, like I think the foam on them's wearing out. It hurts like crap, dude. They're really uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> They're just really uncomfortable. Hey, Fox Mulder one at work. How are you doing? Thank you for joining the chat. And coming to the stream. All right, here we go. I mean, like, if they say stuff like, she's really pretty, man. It's just you focus on the game and actually talk about anything other than appearance. Yeah, I, I mean... We can talk about my looks all you want. I get some strange comments from both men and women in my <laughs> on my videos. A woman messaged the other day and she's like, don't take this the wrong way, but your skin is so gorgeous. <laughs> I'm jealous. And I was like, 
Sweet, man. I'll take the compliment. <laughs> Sweet girl, I'll take the compliment. I've had a few from guys that are like, I'll send you $100 if you take off your shirt. I'm like, just the shirt? Here's my Venmo. <laughs> Hey, William Brock, thank you for being a channel member. I'm doing okay, Fox Mulder. It's, uh, I'm in a little bit of a weird situation. I hooked up the fancy good camera, but I didn't realize that the only place I can sit is right in the path of where the microphone is. So I can't, like, like if I move the microphone, it shakes the camera. And where I have the microphone positioned is the only good spot, but it blocks the chat. <laughs> so I'm, like, leaning over to read the freaking chat. Uh, I think Artis makes up some of the most comfortable headphone cups. Maybe, dude. These are uh, Sennheiser 280Ps or something. What are they? Yeah, Sennheiser 280 Pros. They're pretty decent. They've been I've been using them for like 10 years. What I need is I need to grab one of my old like fire tablets and just set it on top of the flipping monitor over here and just like rock that for the chat. That'd be the best way to do it. Thank you, Tony P. I appreciate that. Yeah, I know people are here to watch me. And not just the game. I mean, people do come in to see the game, right? But they, they come back because it's me. Like, Kanisha joined because she loved Resident Evil, but now Kanisha's, like, hanging around every video. Sennheisers are great, too. Very reliable until I actually slam the cord in my desk door. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> Without sounding weird or crazy, it's the voice. I'll take that. I, I do get a lot of com comments about my voice. Like a crazy amount of comments about my voice. I never thought I had a very good voice. I went on a date with a girl one time, and uh, we had only like spoken on the phone. We met online. And uh, she straight up was like, I love your voice. And I was like, what? No one had ever said they liked my voice up until that point. But I have people now that are like, dude, your voice is great. You could be on the radio. And I'm like, really? <laughs> okay. That podcast I did with uh, Bill Tendo, he was like, dude, you have the perfect voice. I was like, man, I can't believe it. I never knew. Use this on, combine this with this. Was I supposed to do that? Did I just soft lock myself? Because I'm pretty sure I was supposed to freaking use that on this door right here. Right, don't I use it on this crest right here? Okay. Maybe maybe I didn't screw up. Let's see here. Now I didn't save my game because I'm like really low on ink ribbons. You have a face for radio. Me too, man. <laughs> yeah, I get a lot of compliments from girls. Oh my god, this is gonna be a boss fight. Crap. Crap. Dude, get in the airplane, man. Get in the airplane and fly down to Antarctica. We did it. <gasps> Thank you, Ashley Bottoms, for being a subscriber. I really appreciate it. See, I get girls that subscribe to my channel. I actually have a really high female watch ratio for uh, a gaming channel. It's like 3%, which is insane. Most people get like less than one. I got to be doing something right. I like to think it's because I'm inclusive, but I'll never know. Three. 
3%, yep. 3% female watch rate. Yes, Ashley could be a male name. I know it is. It's just like Gone with the Wind. We're the main character in Pokemon. I'm aware. I get it. But don't ruin my imaginary narrative, by God. William Brock, we're trying to freaking make a point here. <laughs> and make ourselves feel more important than we really are. <laughs> it has to crush my dreams. Oh. Uh. They say that 50% of women play video games. I believe that. I think 50% of women play video games. I don't think that 50% of the people that play video games are women, though. <laughs> Never. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch over to the normal gun. I'm hurting. I'm hurting real bad. I'm hurting real bad. Jeez, God, it's so freaking dark. I can't see crap. Let's look at the map. That's an elevator. Can I go in the elevator? No. Okay. You're just crushing dreams. I know. I get it. When they say it, they mean like phone games. That's possibly true. You know what I just realized? I can take my phone. It doesn't have to be sitting all the way back by the screen. I can put it closer to me. So I can actually read it with my 41-year-old crappy eyes. Mother freaking. <laughs> oh my God, please start me back in Antarctica. No! No! Oh God. Oh, dream crushing. It's dream crushing. Oh, God. At least we know where to go. At least we know where to go. We run out here. We run past this guy. He's not important. You just, you don't worry about him. I know, right? This always happens to me. How would I even know that was going to happen? How would I even know that would ever happen in a million years? But guess what I started playing today? I finally finished Windjammers, which, by the way, is not as good as the first one. Or Windjammers 2. I got to start playing Control. I'm like 15 minutes into it, and it's already like blowing my brain. It's so good so far. I'm just like, dude, Remedy is like, they're on their game. Am I excited about Game Jam? Dude, that you're going to be there? You bet I am. You're going to come down the day before. You know who else might be in town that day? Arkansas Picker. He's thinking of coming by and doing a game room tour. Maybe we can all go out and like eat together or something. I've only gotten to 65. What, dollars? Are we not at $65? I'm pretty sure we're at $65, right? Because last time we were at 59, we got a $1 donation that put us up to 60, and then we got another donation that put us up to 65, and then I can actually just check. Hold on one second. It's right here. We're at 70. We're actually at $70. Hold on. I'll fix that right now. Not like that. Not like that, dummy. Where's my dashboard? Where is it? Yeah, 
Yeah, we're at 70. I need to... How do I even freaking do it? Goals. It should be at 70. Save changes. All right, that might update in a minute. We're at 70, though, guys. You have to leave here, so getting through Atlanta doesn't completely ruin your time getting in. What time are you planning? Are you getting here, like, during the day on Friday, Mike, or are you coming in in the evening? I think I'm going to take a half day on Friday. I am playing Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer's 100% next. We have Silver Surfer's queued up next, and then we're 65% of the way, or 70% of the way, to playing Metal Gear Rising. We're not skipping any of them, dude. You guys you guys paid for those. We're playing them. They're just, we're getting ahead of ourselves because this freaking game is taking so long, right? I've never played any other game longer than five streams, and we're on, like, the seventh one on this, and it might go past that. Who freaking knows? But no, we're not. I would never do that to you guys. I would never, like, skip out. Be like, no, I'm not going to do it. You paid for it, and I'm just going to do something else. Never in a million years. We're, we're doing them by God. Maybe I could put, like, down in the bottom under the thing, like, Silver Surfer's next. But I'm afraid it would confuse people, and they'd be like, they'd think the next stream was Silver Surfer. And I don't, I don't want that to happen. Jump up. There we go. All right, so this when this red jerk jumps out, we need to not get hit by him, right? We need to we need to take him out. Mike, if you leave work at three thirty, you're gonna hit freaking Atlanta at six o'clock. That's a really bad idea. You need to leave at like one. How do I like select games or the chat do something like that? <laughs> Um, so when we finish a game, uh, or chat pays for a game to get played, it queues it up to be played next. And then I just take suggestions from people in chat. I'm like, what does everybody want to see me play? People throw out four or five recommendations. And then I take those recommendations and I roll a poll. I can run a poll on the stream and then whichever one gets voted for the highest is what we play. It's real fair. You guys pick them and you vote for them. So that's why Resident Evil, or sorry, Metal Gear Rising got picked. Someone mentioned that, and then like everybody was like, that sounds good. Let's do Metal Gear Rising. I put it on there, and then it won the poll. So. All right, we got we to gotta take this guy out right here. There we go. Feels good, man. So we're not in danger anymore. You're really happy because today you finally got Borderlands Legendary Collection for the Switch. Borderlands 2 is your most favorite game of all time. That's awesome, dude. I really liked Borderlands 2 a lot. I loved Borderlands 1. I got the Platinum in that and 100% at all the DLC. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, I did not like Borderlands 3. I played it with my wife. We did not have a great time with that. We actually kind of disliked it. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to get kicked on the plane. I don't think I have to fight on the plane, right? I did that with Jill or whatever her name is. Who are we playing? Clear. Plane is clear. No, we're playing as Jill. No, we're playing as Claire. Claire Redfield and Chris Redfield. Yeah, dude, I played a ton project with my buddies on Borderlands 1. Borderlands 2, I did play with some friends. Borderlands 3, I played with my wife. My big complaint about it was that the text was too small. I couldn't read it. Crawl Marax was hard, Shipwreck. He almost made the list of the video I just did. It was like the top 
uh, hardest games, Cromerax almost made that list. The only reason he didn't was because it's been so long since I played it, it wasn't clear in my mind, and I didn't have time to watch, like, videos of what it was like. But I remember I beat him alone because my friends all gave up, and I played as a, uh, I forget what the name of the class was, but whatever Lilith was that could teleport around, and while she was teleporting, she healed. That was like the spec I had, and I just spent the whole time teleporting around that freaking map and healing and like popping off a few shots. It was annoying. I think that would make bad gameplay, <laughs> like for a video, but he's worthy of making that list. Hey, Moxie, what's up? Yeah, William Brock, I think we already did that on the plane. It took me about six or seven tries. Dude, I'm pumped about Control. I am really excited to play that. Borderlands 3 was a little too open world. We did spend a lot of time wandering around and, like, having to run back after we died. Make you some tacos. Oh, made you some tacos? Good. What kind of tacos? Really? That's crazy. Your friend got a shotgun that could do, like, 10 million damage. That's kind of awesome, though. ground beef what'd you put on it is it like american style of like tomatoes and lettuce and cheese or is it like street taco style with cilantro and onions <coughs> i think we're gonna have to save our game we're just gonna have to do it american style i like that too Keith Cook says that he's easier to beat. Just do the cliff trick. That's not beating him, though, man. That's cheesing him. I'm fine with cheesing something if there's, like, no option, other option to do it. But I like to beat something for real. Not that teleporting around while you heal isn't the real way to do it. <laughs> Okay. That's Tex Mex. It kind of is. A win is a win. Hey, Dinger Billy. Uh, he says cilantro is the best. Uh, I won't say cilantro is the best, but cilantro is my favorite. That's my favorite way to do it. I like street taco style. I like American taco style too. It's good. It's Tex-Mex. Super Punch-Out is the hardest punch-out game to beat. Never beat it legit. I've never even played it, to tell you the truth. You mix veggie, various spices and sauces when you cook the meat as well. Mushrooms, spring onion, red ol onion, olives. That's pretty cool. I like that. That sounds good. I like herbs, too. I think every every person should. If they're like, I don't like herbs, I'm like, something's wrong with you. <laughs> that's, what it's, that's what it's all about, man. You gotta love the herbs. You like chorizo tacos with cilantro and onion on corn tortillas? I prefer corn tortillas over flour, for sure. Um, I used to love cilantro, just like... Or not cilantro, but uh, chorizo. Um, but it... It's really greasy, and... Uh, I have to say, it gives me, like, rock and freaking heartburn. Like, I used to make huevos rancheros all the time. And it just, like, tears me up when I eat it. All right, here we go. Let's equip this thing. I don't even know I have the grenade launcher on me. I don't have any grenades for it. And thus, society advances. Walmart has a game sale ran all over and finally got Metal Gear Solid Volume 1, The Witcher, The God of War Ragnar for about 70 bucks. That's crazy, dude. They don't... I went to, like, two of them. They didn't have anything. They had, like, a... Like a PJ Masks kids game on the Switch, like, for $5 off. <laughs> Old El Paso has great hard and soft tacos. I've never eaten Old El Paso stuff. I usually get Mission brand. It's greasy. Get no picante cerrito anymore. 
I don't get heartburn from hardly anything, but chorizo does it. Mike says that his, his wife has a co-worker with a Mexican hairless dog named Chorizo. That's like the perfect name. That's so good. The special surrogate took some time, and those four boxes have mechanics. You don't see them for the other circuits. I have no idea what you're talking about. You can occasionally get away with spicy stuff. Silent Hill 2 Remake. You got to stream that. Uh, Yeah, I'll play it, and I'll probably stream it. Are you dead? What the freaking crap? Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? What the? F so you just like can't go through here? Unless you just shoot those guys like 50 times? That's annoying as crap. That's so annoying. Ugh. Hate it. <laughs> you don't know how you feel about Silent Hill 2 Remake? I don't know either, man. <laughs> hey, Greg Carmel. How are you doing? Everybody's playing I Union Chronicles already. Big shoes to fill. That's true. That is true. Okay. How many, how many bullets we got? Not many. Not many bullets. So, what the crap was in here? That's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do at all. We got this crap over here. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, man. Okay. Out. Out, 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 out. Run, 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 run. Okay. <laughs> do we have our knife? We don't have our knife on us, do we? We don't have our knife on us, man. Crap. Can I equip this? Oh, man. That's lame. We can machine gun them. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, geez. Okay, hold on. Time out. Can I shotgun blast him? There's something else here. What is here? <gasps> Shotgun shells. <laughs> no, get off me. <laughs> oh, shotgun shells. Okay. Combine these with this. And then shoot his, shoot his dumb ass. There we go. And then you get shot. And then also get shot. Are you dead? Is, is you dead? Dude, everything looks terrible since everything blew up. Who would have thought? <laughs> I can't believe things have gotten so bad. Arrows, dude, the arrows don't work, man. They don't work. I wonder if this game saves zombie damage if you leave the room. I think it does. You got Bomberman Hero yesterday on N64 from the package and a video, then streamed it. That's cool, Monk. Someone's making a Genesis report. Port of Resident Evil 1. I had no idea anybody could even do that. Runs a little, uh, says playing it at the best game by any means. Not the best game by any means, but definitely a little fun. Underrated game for sure. I should aim up. I feel like if I aim up, I'll shoot above their head. But thanks for the advice. We'll try it. <laughs> play Resident Evil 2, the original. It's in the backlog. You guys can vote for me to play it. I thought there should be like something in here.
You have to wait till they're right on you. I'd say I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So I made a Jaguar port of the original Mortal Kombat. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> What's the purpose of this? There's just nothing in here, huh? All right then. I was excited to see they included the VR missions with the collection. That's neat. You know, I've never played the Metal Gear Solid VR missions. I have it. Probably something bad's gonna happen here. There's a zombie trapped in the ice. That's really freaking nice touch. I like that. You gonna tell me there's nothing out here? Really? You got dead zombies on the ice and there's nothing out here? There's really nothing here. It's just an empty room. That can't possibly be. Huh. Strange. Strange. Can I blow up those tanks? I don't know, man. Oh, let's keep progressing. Did I miss anything back there? Let's see here. Did it update the overlay? It never did update the overlay. You freaking, you freaking dummies. What is this? Is this one I'm using right now? Nope, that's not it. Where, Where is it, man? This one? Not that. I'm trying to update the... Uh... There it is. The amount of money here. It's not, it's not letting me do it. It's not letting me do it. I don't know why. But it's $70 still. You have a copy of We Punch Out and haven't played it, but you watch it. Those defense matches are brutal. I haven't played that either, man. Castlevania Symphony of the Night is what you meant. Oh, yeah, I did see that. I did see that. I saw, like, the first level of it being run. It did look cool. Hey, Rushmore Show, top four ranking podcast. You're on the road home from a con. Which con did you go to? Did you find anything good? Did you buy anything? Only useless books. We've been down this road before, Chris. I know you're not the most educated fellow, but don't call the books useless. Some people know how to read. <laughs> There's some grenades. Yes, take the grenade rounds. And then combine those with this. And then also, while you're looking at this, check it. If you had a lockpick. That's how they get you, man. You don't have one. You got to meet up with your, your sister. Are there any other games where Chris and Claire, like, play, you play as both of them together? They're always, like, looking for each other, but I can't recall any other time that they were, like, <laughs> together in a game. I'm a little home. We got to catch up. There's a fan remake of Castlevania 3 that recently came out. Hold on. Uh, St. Tam Tammany Collector Con in Louisiana. I've never heard of that. Tell me about it. Also, a couple of different releases of Metal Gear Solid 2 for the PlayStation. Haven't checked out 2 or 3 yet. I'm having fun with Code Veronica. It's the first Resident Evil you ever beat. Head on Dreamcast, so it holds a special place in me. Yeah, I'm having a great time with it, but it's really, really hard. So nobody's asking what my favorite game is yet. Yeah, my favorite game is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Do I like alternate history stuff like Wolfenstein? I do. I like Wolfenstein a lot. I know Joel and Zach did a show in Stone Mountain today. I, I thought that was pretty cool. They're driving down to Atlanta or near it. Uh, you have a copy of We Punch Out, and I played a little bit of it. Has anyone heard of Thunder Ray? It's a new Punch Out from East Asia Soft. I saw that, but I didn't pick it up. I, I know what the cover even looks like. You got Sergeant Slaughter and an M Chin to promote your show, show. Oh, the people that played the, like the uh, the um, wrestlers. That's pretty cool. You don't know the Resident Games past five well enough to answer. Okay, they also come together in Resident Evil Revelations. 
Resident Evil Revelations, I played and beat both of them, and like it was just they didn't make an impression on me. That's awesome, Rushmore. I like that a lot. Chris is in six and eight, but Clary kind of disappeared. Yeah, Chris is in six and eight. Is the semi bad guy. I'm fully aware. This guy's gonna grab me, right? Here's the save room. Please tell me there's a freaking ink cartridge in here. Not an ink cart to be found anywhere, but look at this. Look at this right here. Look at this. Huh? Fascinating. Use it. And just have like nine ink ribbons back here, please. Yes! I knew it. I knew it. Take the paperweight. Okay. There's a file, what does it say? Alfred's Diary. January 30th. There's a sealed room in the hallway located inside of the Antarctic facility. I don't know where it is hidden there, but I do know how to get in. I can use the three jewels that each one of our three family members wear as proof of being a legitimate descendant of the Ashford family. The only problem is I do not know how I can gain possession of my father's proof. Interesting. February 17th, I finally succeeded in entering that sealed room. I never could have imagined that such an insane secret existed regarding the birth of both Alexia and myself. I hate my father. That fool, Alexander. Now it is obvious that we were merely created in an attempt to cover my father's blunder. I can never trust him again. I must regain the glory of the Ashford family with my sister. I have nothing to be afraid of as long as Alexia is with me. I got bad news for you, buddy. March 3rd, Alexia carried out the experiment on the human body that we've been talking about. Our useless father must be happy now since he can finally contribute to the Ashford family. Oh my lord, they experimented on their daddy. The only thing we could be careful about is that is that the butler, Harmon, does not become wise to our activities. Oh, the butler. The experiment resulted in failure. Our father was useless after all. Even worse, he turned into a dangerous monster that is completely out of control. Was he the guy in the basement with like the blindfold on? That's creepy. We tied him down and locked him in an underground prison cell. However, Alexia seems to be close to a solution. Beyond all my expectations, she now says that she wishes to conduct the experiment on her own body. Whoa, no. Who are you going to make out with night at night, dude, if you can't make out with your sister? On top of that, she feels she must be kept asleep for 15 years in order to accomplish the experiment. Thanks to that idiot, I can see my dear Alexia for as long as 15 years. Alexia's going to sleep. With all of her trust relying upon me, now I'm the only one who can protect Alexia. Very creepy. I will take the ink ribbon. Oh, my Lord, there's three of them. Life is but a dream. Why is it this room all blown up? <laughs> Why is this room in such good shape? I don't know, man. Override it. The Wii punch out is supposed to be hard. I bet it is. Ming Chen from the comic book Men Show. I don't know that. Isn't Chris in Resident Evil 5? Yeah, he is, but he's not there with his sister. You've been playing Wolfenstein Old Blood, and I installed it earlier and suck at it, but I love him. So I played the first Wolfenstein. I have the Old Blood, but I haven't played it. I have Wolfenstein 2. I'm looking forward to him. You never know how to reply to people? That's awesome. You guys can talk to each other now. There are a bunch of punch-out clones like games on the GBA called Counter Counterpunch. I didn't know that. Leon was in Resident Evil 6. Everybody was in Resident Evil 6. It was like five scenarios with every character that's ever existed. It took my friend and I 60 hours to beat it on hard <laughs> the first time. Yeah, Alfred seems like he's 15 now. You're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. Okay, let's put some stuff away. We can put away the submachine guns since we have zero bullets for it. We can put away the ink cartridge since we used it. You can put away the doll room in case. I guess freaking take the stupid shotgun shells. I don't know, dude. I don't know. What's in here? This is where old dude was in the basement. All right, here we go. Living that dream. I thought Resident Evil 5 was fine for an action game. I mean, it was super racist because you're just killing Africans the whole time. And, like, not just Resident Evil style. You're, like, mowing them down relentlessly. Oh, God. We're trapped, dude. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Is 
that what you meant? Like when you said do it at close range? All right. Here we go. No, it's tightly sealed. Where am I supposed to go then? Huh. I wasn't expecting that. Uh let's let's investigate the paperweight. Hmm. What the crap? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> Where do you put it? I don't see anywhere to interact with anything. Only useless books. Chris, I know how you feel, buddy. Be reasonable. It does drag on. It does drag on. You will dig the reference to another game of control later in the game. Make sure you check out the downloadable content. Well worth it. I have the ultimate edition that I believe has all the DLC on disc. So I will be playing it. I haven't played it in a while. You play Resident Evil 5 or 6. Once they started getting away from horror, I lost interest. I kind of did too, but... It is a novel thing to like see characters you know in a different style of game. It's like when they add like an RPG character into a fighting game. I just think of it like that. Why are Resident Evil 5 and 6 not horror? Because they're not like about exploring around Blood Axe. They're not... Um, based on like solving puzzles and like ammo uh, conservation and just surviving. They're just like third person shooters. You just like, you're just mowing down with like a machine gun, tons of people. There are sections of Resident Evil six that kind of like dabble in a uh, survival horror, but for the most part, they are anything but survival horror. Keith Cook, you are, you are alone in that thought. <laughs> um, I do not think that... Oh, man, there's a squid monster down here. There's the spider. If I jump up over here, what am I supposed to do? I jump up over here. There we go. I knew it. I knew there was going to be something like that. Start pulling levers, buddy. You need the crane key. Okay. I don't mind them being not tank controls, but... I do want them to be, like, fun. I like the exploring. Dude, Pacific Drive, I've been so close to getting that. Oh, God. Here we go. Can I shoot this to... Oh, there's no way to avoid that, dude. There's no way to avoid that. It, like, literally, like, ended the cutscene with it hitting me. Oh, God, it's annoying. <laughs> I don't remember all this from Claire. This... There's an item in there. There's nothing strange. There's nothing strange. Okay. Well, let's go up the lift, then. See where that takes us. Down. That's bad. We don't like going down. Yeah, Pacific Drive looks incredible. Well, I would love to go in there, but I can't. Can I? No. Can't go through there. All right. I go in here. It's tightly shut. So. I mean, it says I can. That there's a little outlet through there. But I don't see it. 
Yeah, I guess I can't get through there yet. We gotta get the fire extinguisher or something. Yeah, I think you're right, Greg Carnell. I mean, I know that Claire has one um, somewhere. What if it happens if I press this blue button? I wonder. Yeah, dude, push the switch. Why not? It's a fire extinguisher container. Okay, well, we got to get the fire extinguisher. Let's go do that. You should play all of Resident Evil 4 Remake. It's really good. Everyone should play it. It was my game of the year this last year. It's a magnificent game. Unbelievably good. You can drain the water under the following conditions. To clean the tank, exchange the water. Check. I, I want to clean the tank. <laughs> How clean tank? How do you clean the tank? It appears to be some kind of control panel for draining the water. Can we can we do that? Can we can we drain water? Okay. I I don't know what what do. <laughs> That's why Resident Evil or why Final Fantasy VII remake is a bit divisive amongst fans. Yeah, I mean, I didn't have to look up any solutions for Resident Evil 4 anywhere. I thought it was easier than standard ones. Yeah, true. Click on the thing again. I'll click on it again. They do take out some of the content, but they make it a more enjoyable experience, I think. There's a square. Oh, a square indentation dude squares guess what we got it's a square this is a square Ah. <laughs> really i can't use the the square object i have use it use it oh god i need a crank i'm pretty sure you're right cuz there's a symbol of a crank below it <laughs> I thought five was pretty fun. Six was it had its fun points, but it did drag on way too long. But it wasn't a bad game. It was just like the worst Resident Evil game in the mainline series. Run. Son. Stop. Sorry. Said a bad word. <laughs> I find the puzzles hard in most any new gen games, but for the shooting the enemies from Resident Evil it remake was better. Yeah, don't shoot him when he's down. Yeah, I know that. I wait for him to get up. I found the puzzles way easier in the modern games compared to Silent Hill. The puzzles are like the easiest thing in the world. What is that noise? Oh, God. It literally, like, did not let me shoot. I was like, shoot, 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 and he just stood there. Ugh. Chris, you're so dumb, dude. Fortunately, all that stuff we did, it, like, didn't do anything. Like, we just can run right back to where we were. Leave you in here. Leave you in here. Leave you in here. Take. Take. This. And then you just I'm trying to remember the room we were in. Room with the ice. We don't need to run down there. It doesn't do anything. We run up here. <coughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me. And then I can't remember if it was this room. I think it was this room down here that we went in. I should have tapped Dodge. You're right, man. You couldn't even see that thing. I couldn't either, Russell Campbell. I just felt it like hit me. You jump down here. Then you run over here and you climb up. Then you run over here and you go inside. Resident Evil Revelations 2 looks promising. It's good. I mean, they're fine. I can't play tank controls. Yes, we're aware. Stand up, buddy. Boom. Then, reload. And run in here. I know, but we got to do the next guy, too, and he's even stronger. Resident Evil 5 is racist. <laughs> I mean, it. it's ignorantly racist. It's like they didn't know any better. They're like, this is fine. They didn't even think that it might offend people to play a game where you're just shooting like Africans the whole time, like relentlessly. Done. 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 Is that it? Oh, he's bleeding, man. He's bleeding, man. Where are we? <laughs> what is this place? There's a little carousel over here. That's nice. You want to hop on? You're going to ride it with your sister? I guess that's where Alexia and whatever his name were used to hang out. They do all their weird crap. Yeah. I feel like there should be something out here. There's nothing. There's literally nothing out here, dude. There's a tunnel below there, but it doesn't look like it goes anywhere. Okay, well, I have a bad habit with this game of running by the obvious spot you're supposed to go in and soft-locking myself, so... Instead of just running by this room and going to the bigger room, let's go in the little room first. Oh my god, an herb. What is this? Feels good, man. <laughs> Feels real good. Another blue herb. There's so many blue herbs. Oh, shit. I thought I had more ammo. Still here, I'm shuffling. Every day, I'm shuffling. This is boss fights, Bill, if I've ever seen one right here. Yeah, take the green herb and then freaking load your gun. Combine that. Take this. Combine this with this. And then it's down here. Badness. What does this look like in here? That's a that's gotta be a freaking boss room, dude. There's no way that's not a boss room. Go in this little door right here. There we go. Tank controls only work with pre-rendered backgrounds. You're right. Said Edwards. Did they ever make a physical copy of Castlevania Requiem? You bet they did. They made a giant collector's edition of it, and I've got it sitting right over here by me. And it's freaking awesome. I bet you there's something either in or to insert in the carousel to get the carousel moved from another switch. I bet you're right. Also, I would like to argue that having a bunch of African enemies doesn't make any form of media racist. They're attacking the protagonist. He shouldn't just let them be killed. Yeah. But the racist part of it is you think that every single person in Africa is uh, African or like dark skinned, which isn't true. <laughs> They exclusively chose dark-skinned people to shoot, even though they're, it's, does not, 
represent the entire population of Africa. I took your advice, Greg Carmel. I definitely did. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're going to shoot somebody. You got to shoot them, right? But definitely, what is this? In the shape of an octagon. There's an old typewriter. Ooh, a save room, dude. Heck yeah, man. How many ink cartridges do I have? One. I thought there were more than this. I have three. Okay, we'll save our game. We'll do that. That's not what I wanted to do, dummy. Oh, there were ink cartridges there. That's awesome. Okay. We like that. I know. People in South Africa. Yeah. I don't think that it takes place in South Africa, but it definitely is not representative of the population. Uh, You got a good point there. <laughs> Greg Carmel. You're not wrong. We got plenty of ink carts, cartridges, so might as well. Let's equip the lighter. La Caverna de Angel, or de Angel. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate that. Look at that right there. Boom. We never would have seen it if we hadn't used that lighter. What else we got in here? Oh, look at that. Handgun ammo, baby. Handgun ammo all day. Love the handgun ammo. Love it. And look at this. Is this a document we can read? I guess not. Okay. Is that a document we can read? Look on the floor. Holy jeez. Green herbs abounding. Oh, my lord. Dude, they spoil us. Let's combine this with this. And then, what is this? A blue herb? Another blue herb? Man, there's so many blue herbs. All right. We're going to save this green herb and this blue herb in case we need it. I'm going to take the grenade launcher. We're going to leave it back here, too. All right. Then we're going to equip the shot. We're going to ship equip the normal handgun. We're going to reload it. We got to say we did. Anybody that thinks that Resident Evil 5 is racist, they are part of the woke community. Dude, Keith, no politic talking in here. I consider myself fairly woke on a lot of topics. We want everybody to be happy. We want everybody to feel included. So, I consider it somewhat racist. When I played it, I felt uncomfortable playing Resident Evil 5. It was a lot of shooting black people. It just was, man. That means I'm about to get rocked. What's the worst game I've ever played? I think Fight for Life on the Atari Jaguar is pretty much the worst game I've ever played. Like, it is just remarkably terrible in so many ways. It's an impossible question. What's my most hated game? It's much more answerable. Oh my God, look at this. We're in the mansion. We made it to the mansion, guys. Wow. Having a mansion in Antarctica would be the most expensive thing in the entire universe. How are you going to freaking... There she is. You need some kind of tool to open it? Like a gun? Um. What the hell was I saying? <laughs> Is locked by hazard by keyhole. Okay, fine. 
the worst game you've ever played is BL3. I don't know what BL3 is. There's another guy I watch who's been playing the Resident Evil 6 on stream, and he agrees exactly like you the series is puzzle. Well, yeah, I know, right. Cosmic Race for you, that might legit be the worst game ever made. Cosmic Race. What system is Cosmic Race on? Thanks, James Harvey. I appreciate it. Math on the Atari. Mock, you're up there. That That's, I agree. Some of the, it's just basic math. It's like, what's 4 plus 7? And you're like, 11. And it's like, wrong. It's 11. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> it should have been a cutscene discovering Claire. You're not wrong. It definitely should have been. Borderlands 3. That's not the worst game. It was a disappointing game, but man, let me tell you. Go freaking play, like, Fight for Life or Saint on the Wii or Math on the Atari 2600 if you want to see some real garbage. All right, well, that was fun, but ultimately not what we needed to do. We need to go fight boss room item person over here. E.T. for Atari is really bad. Um, and it's very frustrating. I think that freaking Indiana Jones is maybe even worse. It's just like the same kind of game. But, mm. hey, Dio, good morning to you. Fox Muller says that Cosmic Race is a PS1 Japan-only game. It stayed in Japan for a reason. That's the kind of stuff I like to hear about. All right, freaking crap, dude. All right, here we go. We need... Is this where we save Claire? We need to get a knife, and we need to get the blue herb, and we need a first aid spray. Is that what we got to do? All right, here we go. We need blue herb. We need first aid spray. We need knife. Her knife. Their knife. Okay. Cyber Shinobi on Master System is awful, too. Back to the Future on NES is really bad. Chris comes to the island to find Claire and isn't even emotionally invested in finding her. That's, I mean, he is. He's just such a good soldier that he doesn't let his emotions get to him, right? Take it easy, Russell Campbell. I really appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out. Worst retro, which, worst, oh, my Lord. All right, we'll rephrase the question. What's the worst game on retro consoles excluding Atari? That's a good question. I think the original Ghostbusters on the NES is pretty, absolutely terrible. Pretty terrible. Dude, it's just E.T. William Brock, but more complicated with more items and more annoying crap. Once you play it, it's okay, but I still don't like playing it even when I know how to play. What was the Bethesda game that came out with Super Hype, but when it came out, it didn't even work? Uh... I don't know. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde's pretty bad. Ghostbusters on NES is bad, yeah. It's pretty bad. At least when you play Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, it feels like you can do something, but you really can't when you play Ghostbusters. You're just like driving around, running out of fuel. Rage? Was that it? That was a Bethesda game, but it was developed by id Software. You need some kind of tool, like a knife. Would the knife would the knife be the tool? Use. There we go. There's the cutscene. Oh, clear. It's the first time they've ever touched in a Resident Evil game. Clear. The bouncer on PS2. I have played that a little bit. I want to go back to it. I know Pete Dore loves the bouncer. He just loves that game. I missed you so much. I know. But we have to get out of here. What an ass. I missed you so much. I know. We have to find Steve. Who's Steve? He's a boy who escaped from that island with me. But then a monster attacked us and we got separated. So that means Steve is still somewhere in this base? I'm sure of it. Whoa. What's wrong? I think, I think I've been poisoned. 
Just hold on. I'll be right back. You need serum. Don't tell me that crap. It, 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 everyone said blue herb. Mother f <laughs> You just used it? Oh, man. Uh-oh, a moderator turned on slow mode. Turned off slow mode. Did you, Blood Axe, did you do that? <laughs> did you do that, Blood Axe? Oh. You will not tolerate any slander of the bouncer? Oh. It is. I mean, of course, Super Mario Bros. 3 is a fantastic game. They shouldn't just let you waste a blue herb. I know, right? All right. Where the freaking crap is the serum? Where's the serum? Where do I go? What areas let me make serum? There's like nowhere else left to go that I can think of. Yeah, dude, man, the Magnavox Odyssey is like the oldest. It isn't a pawn console. Oh, dude, I got something in my eye. Oh. Oh, really, Mike? Yeah, he's a moderator. He can do all kinds of crazy stuff. He has the, the power in his hands to do anything he wants. Where do I go? Where do I go? There's nowhere left, man. Um... There's a door there on the left, on the back the way we came. Let's go check that out. That I missed, it looks like. You thought it was you? <laughs> That's funny, Blood Axe. Does the camera look better tonight, despite the fact that I have something sitting right in front of it? God dog it, dude. Freaking kidding me. Nope. Equip. Radio silence. What? Dude, every other time it took three shots. Why did that one take so many? Oh, uh, let's see here. All right, the door to the right is where I got to go. Oh, this is where I went before, and then I died later, and then I forgot I had to go back in here, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yes, hit the switch. We never found the crank, did we? Head back to the chemical storage. That's here, right? You don't really care for GTA 5. It's too short for a GTA game. You know, I haven't ever played San Andreas. But GTA 4 is my favorite. Oh, God. That felt good. I forgot these guys were down here. <laughs> oh, there's something there. What is that? The serum. There it is. There's the serum. Claire, let's go save you, Claire. Come on. Yeah, it's hilarious times on GTA 4's cops and robbers mode. I didn't know they had a cops and robbers mode. Yeah, there's an item back there, Tony, but we can't get to it till we drain the water. And we can't drain the water until we get the crank to turn the 
valve to drain the freaking water. So, but we do have a key item now. Freaking turd. It's so irritating. You can't even see it until you like run on the screen. And by then it's too late, dude. It's just too flipping late. Irritating. Disappointed. I didn't even realize. Yeah, I guess I did know GTA 4 had multiplayer. I played a little bit of that. And you think, Mike, you think the uh, Odyssey is the winner? Everyone's like, you got to give Clear a blue herb. I was like, maybe you don't. Maybe in this version it's the serum. Clear. Do it, buddy. I'll take care of you now. Yeah, there we go. Thanks to you. Just like a big brother, huh? You're always looking out for your little sister. <laughs> it's a little flirty there, Clear. <laughs> Oh no. It's Alexia. Alexia? There really is an Alexia? There really is an Alexia. <laughs> it is almost time, you genetically inferior siblings. <laughs> oh man, I didn't know she was like part of the Aryan Brotherhood. Let's go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Please tell me I don't have to swip, switch back and forth between the two of them. I hate that. Oh, God, if I got to play this clear and I don't have any items now? That was a creepy laugh. I'm almost at the end, boss? No way. No way. Steve. Just Steve. Go. I'll be fine. Dude, there's a lot of wiener hey, monsters. Hey, Not as many as Shin Megami Tensei, but go. still a lot. Claire, you're screwed, girl. We don't have any items. <laughs> what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I mean, take the green herb. Take the freaking red herb. Take the handgun ammo, I guess. Well, there's an item box there. We like that. There's some shotgun ammo. What I was supposed to do... What I was supposed to do is take all of his crap and put it in the item box before I gave her the serum, right? Is that what I was supposed to do? You think the break the player part is coming? Bullets, yay. I hate when they censor games. Don't take away the content. I don't like when they censor games either. Guys, I think I'm going to have to load my save. I think I'm going to have to load my save. I think I was supposed to put everything in the item box. Before switching over to clear. I mean, they censor every game. You're not wrong. He still has the doll room in case, too, right? Oh, there it is. I'm missing the... Freaking assault rifle, and I'm missing the magnum. I never found them. Uh, check. What is this? Magnum rounds. Okay. Save those here, I guess. And then, I mean, she's hurting real bad. I need to reload, don't I? You think I returned to Chris? 
Uh, I have TJ. I have our type final, but I have not played it. Right? No, I've played our type final. I've beaten and one credit cleared our type final. I haven't played and beaten uh, our type final two. Use this. Equip that. I'm missing anything. You must save Steve. Okay. Check this art out first. Okay. Wish you, remember, wish you remembered how this went. Me too. I mean, that's true. They don't show full nudity. I freaking knew that crap was going to happen. Of course it is. How could it go any other way? It's locked from the other side. Of course it is. How could it go any... Twelve shots. Annoying. Super annoying. That's like all of our ammo, right? If you make video games, you never would censor any of them. Oh, I should have gotten the knife. Stomp him. Stomp him. Really? There's nothing in here? I was like, for sure there's going to be something in there, dude. It's okay if we die, because we were going to reload anyway, because we got to reload anyway. I just can sense that I screwed up. What is this? Security file. Okay. The Ashford family's most important secret is kept at this lab. As a safety precaution, I've installed a self-destruct device in the control room and have placed the activation code inside the computer. How do you put it inside the computer? Once inputted, the door locks will be released to provide easy access to escape routes. By using the elevator, this directly connects the hangar once you'll be able to escape from the lab easily. Okay. Please remember that I've used the name of my beautiful ancestor for the activation code. Glory to the Ashfords, Alexander Ashford. <coughs> Turn the handle, sure, why not? Ooh, what? That's definitely a nonsense. Well, I don't know how we survived that. <laughs> Is there a door there? Where am I? There's not a door there. Let's see. We need to inspect it, right? You obtain the car if you crack it. Like, set it on the ground, dude. Let's see here. Use. Use. Go in the door. Bow gun arrows? Okay, that's fine. What is this? More bow gun arrows? Yes, okay. And then you. I know I've, I've just got to like set it here, right? How do you, how do you set it down? Use. Does anybody know how to do this? How do you? I don't know. It is spelled sensor. Yes. I said it's spelled on the four. Yeah, I know. I figured it out. Remember, I had to show it when I was Baltimore come out too. Yep. You want to see Fatal Frame remakes? That would be fun too, Lee Edward. I would like that too. You want to walk to the center, drop, and get away fast?
Beautiful. So smart, man. We got the security card. We're making progress. We have to go in here. You'll only work in an emergency. All right. Okay. All right. First try, I know. Maybe I should have died. I feel like I'm screwing up immensely. Okay. How to release the security. Turn both devices simultaneously. Okay, so we have to have both people. Okay. It's locked. There's a hollow in the shape of a dragonfly. We don't have the dragonfly. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a bad habit of getting sick when I do these streams, man. I'm literally sitting here, and my nose just started running, and I've started coughing like 40 minutes ago. I'm going to get sick, aren't I? It's like destined. Maybe we can drink more water and save our souls. Mock says, what I don't like is when people talk crap about a game that isn't bad just because it's not their cup of tea. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't know if you watched that show Nanny. There was a game that wasn't violent. It was rated T. The mom wouldn't let the nine-year-old kid play because he was crying a lot. I mean, if he cries, then you can't play it. Or is he crying because he she wouldn't let him play it? Okay. All right. Is this the door I came in? I can't remember. Who keeps turning on slow mode? Who keeps doing that? Stop turning on slow mode. <laughs> oh, Lord. Where is it? How do you turn off slow mode? No, that's not what I want. I want that on. Cheap death number two, but you never had a problem. Oh, Lord. Okay. What is all this? This is giving me some Resident Evil 9 or 4 remake vibes. There he is, dude. Holy crap. We're definitely going to die. Because we don't have the ammo to take this critter out, I bet. <laughs> she was going to perform the same experiment on me that she did on her own father. Oh, she Lord. She's completely insane. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What's wrong? Oh, no. Is he going to be the big bad boss? Steve, no wonder you're not in any of the other games. Oh, Steve. Steve, no. I thought he was talking about the sitcom The Nanny as well. Crap. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh, 
All right, no politics, no talking about conservatism. Keep it civil. You can be conservative without being a conservative. I'm confused about this. I'm very confused about this. All right, here. Hold on, it says here. All right, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. We missed a whole bunch of crap, dude. We missed a whole bunch of crap. We're resetting. Hold on, time out. We missed a bunch of stuff. Oh, man, we missed so much stuff. <laughs> we missed so much stuff. <laughs> Holy crap. I was like, I know I have to get the Magnum. I know I have to do all that crap with the fire extinguisher and stuff. So we need to do that. I didn't know that when we saved Claire, it was going to like make us take over as her. We don't want to do that yet. So let's go back and backtrack. Let's do this the right way. All right, load game. Resident Evil. This is SR, Chris. What is this? I don't know what SR means. I have Ghost Blade HD. It's okay, William Brock. Let's just keep it like light in here. We don't want to. We don't wanna have too many politics talks. Okay, hold on. Where are we? It says that the valve handle is back at the beginning of this area, and I have no idea how we missed that whatsoever I just have no idea how we missed the valve handle at all so let's go back up go back into the main facility see if we can find the valve handle I also now I think about it I have the fire extinguisher it's in the it's in the case Fire extinguisher's in the, the lockbox. Let's go back and get the freaking fire extinguisher. <laughs> yeah, I'm pumped to play Ghostblade HD. I bought it from Play Asia when East Asia Soft released it back on the PS4 when it first came out, and it has not been picked for me to play yet. Yeah, Keith Cook, I never played this game. This is my first time ever playing it. I skipped out on it. I didn't really have any interest in survival horror until just a few years ago. So, a lot of these are like, I'm new to them. And now I love it, of course. I feel like I've been missing out forever. I'm kind of bummed by it. <laughs> but now I have a whole bunch to play, so that's really good. This needs to stay in here. 
this, I guess, needs to stay in here. Uh, we need the fire extinguisher. There it is. Did we already get the stuff over here? We didn't. We need to explore more. Okay. Let's equip our... Yeah, there we go. Put the blue herb back in here. Blue herb in there. I don't know what to do with the paperweight, man. I have no idea what to do with the paperweight. Put the grenade launcher in here. We'll put the bow gun bolts in there. That seems that seems pretty good. There's some more shotgun shells. We don't have whatever the thing is that's shaped like an octagon. Take the shotgun shells, yes. Take the handgun ammo, yes. Take the another blue herb, right? A green herb, okay. Then another green herb. Okay. Take the green herbs and throw them in here. <coughs> Check. Check. All right. Now. Equip the gun. Load the gun. RNG if I played Visage. I don't know what Visage is. Is that a survival horror game? I have not played it. Resident Evil 1 to 3 or Dino Crisis are the best ones for this type of game games. That's what I've heard. I haven't played any of them. I gotta get into them all. I bet if I remembered you're missing that stuff, you would have been losing your mind. Yeah, I know. I did that a lot with music. I skipped it and then came back. Now I love it and have a bunch to check out. Yeah. I'm mixing herbs too. <laughs> it's funny, TJ. The first one's the best one too is good, but also the first one's really good. All right. Dino Crisis is amazing. I know Dino Crisis is going to be great. I have the first one on the PlayStation 1. I think I played it a little bit just to test it out. It was from this time period where I wasn't like really finishing games. I was collecting so fast. I was like, I'll just spend 15 minutes with every game. It's a bad idea. They made a third Dino Crisis. It came out on the Xbox. It was an exclusive on the Xbox. Where am I going? Let's see. This room is locked, isn't it? No, it's not locked. This is where I get the blood bag, as I recall. Okay. Okay. All right. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Here's the fire extinguisher stuff. Perfect. Perfect. Love it. It can, can it? There we go. Use it. Fill it up, buddy. And then we go downstairs. Can't quite remember. Oh my god, dude, a seventh guest homage. I would love to play that. I freaking love the seventh guest. Alright, here we go. Use this. Put it out. We did it. Here's the blood bag back here, right? Is this it? No, it wasn't here. Holy crap. It's the Magnum. We did it, guys. We got the freaking Magnum. I wonder what they plan to use them for. Me too, dummy. Is there anything good back here? 
Probably not. Oh, this. No, don't, no, don't equip it. Hold on. Equip that. Use the lighter. I remember setting this with clear. Oh, man, dude. We did something good on our own without any help. <laughs> What's in here? Oh, my God. A ton of handgun ammo. There's more handgun bullets? Do it. Load me up. 42. Take it. Yes. There's nothing left. Man, that, that seems anticlimactic for all we went through to do that. Okay. Now leave. What was in here? It's tightly shut. Okay. Go back up. Now the crank... I don't know where the crank is, but I saw it in the walkthrough. I didn't want to, like, look at it too much. That it was back at the beginning. Let me just... Let me look real quick. There'd be tentacles in the way. When we took out the, the tentacles, head to the safe room. I remember, use the halberd on the cabinet. Go inside, get the paperweight. We did that. Save your game. Grab the fire extinguisher from the item box. Head up the stairs, go to the double doors near the ladder. Head to Chris's left and keep going until you find the valve handle through the next room. It's in the room. It's in the room where I got the Dalla room and case. That's where it is. At the very beginning, where those three zombies were, when I first got to Antarctica. It's in that room. I missed it somehow. Which is crazy. Like, I can't believe I missed it. Claire had a crank. Yeah. But, uh... We need the crank key. We don't have that either. I feel like there's like so much stuff we haven't done. There's a door there too. Did I ever go in here? I don't remember ever going in this door. It's a good Resident Evil dinosaur. That's what Dino Crisis is. It's this room, right? The crank is in here. Is it? No. Huh. Huh. Okay. I'm I'm lost, dude. I'm just like so lost. Where's Kanisha? <laughs> Kanisha, come back. You might as well remake everything. They'll probably remake the Dino Crisis games. I can't imagine they wouldn't. Okay. It says here. All right, head to the safe room. I think you remember the way. Use the halberd on the cabinet. We did that. Grab the paperweight and ribbons. Check. Save your game if you want. Grab the fire extinguisher. Check. Head back out and go up the stairs. Go through the double doors near the ladder. That's it. Head to Chris's left and keep going until you find the valve handle through the next room. Head to Chris's left. Did we just never explore over here? Did we just never go over here? We just never did it, did we? We just never went in here. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Just never did it. No, we did come in here. This is the room where I was like, there's got to be something in here. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Just take it and dodge the zombies. Remember when I was like, there's got to be something out here. Where the freaking crap is it? Is it in here? There it is. There it is. There's the valve handle. And just don't even worry about these guys. They're going to wake up and just be total turds. I knew it. I knew it. They'd be so bad. 
Here they all come. Here they all come, man. It's like 50 of them. Oh my god, so many. You like how he starts off like just facing the wrong. Get off me, God, you turd. Get off. Me. Oh my lord. Just go. Get. That way. Just run, just run out. Just go. Can I, can I squish him? No. <laughs> like I dropped like a box on him or something like that. Nope. I wanted to play the new home, uh, new Alone in the Dark really badly, but then I heard that it's unplayable without the day one patch, which I'm really bummed about. I don't typically play games that are unplayable without the day one patch. That crap really annoys me. I don't like it. I'm not happy about it. I'm trying to think of where we use the stupid, um, thing. It's up here, right? Yeah, I want to play Robocop 2, dude. You're waiting on the thousand year, year door. I, I couldn't get into it. Oh, wait. It was the other way. It wasn't this way. What was this? Nothing. That was nothing. Okay. The seventh guest is, it's like a mixture of survival horror and like, like mist. <laughs> like, first person puzzle games. I care a lot about patches. I hate them. But ours is octagonal. There's no need to use it now. Jeez, man. Okay. I think in the save room, there's a spot to put something. <laughs> okay. Yeah, dude, Seventh Guest was like, almost like Riven and Mist. I mean, it was even... Harder, actually, in a way. Um, is this the elevator? This better be the elevator. I'm so close to beating this game. I can, like, feel it. I mean, we're all here. We're talking about, like, escaping all this sort of stuff. Most games, 80% of games are complete enough to be played right when they come out, which is nice. I have not played Juggernaut on the PS1. I've never even heard of it. This is the room, right? Alright, so. We're going to take a little break here. I'm going to run an ad. I rarely ever do it, but I'm going to do it because I have to use the bathroom. i got to freaking pee so bad I can taste it, as my dad would say. All right, so everybody tell me what ad they got. Did we get more Harbor Freight ads? I hope so. 
That's the classic, right? Harbor Freight. Blood Axe says that the best version of the Seventh Guest is arguably on the CDI. That might be true. I don't know. I haven't played it. I've only ever played it on PC. Okay. This is going to turn on the electricity, I think. Use it. Do it. I might have to check that out. That seems pretty cool. Let me look it up real quick. Juggernaut on the PS1. Juggernaut. PS1. I've never even seen that art. I've never seen that game before. You didn't see an ad on the PS5 or on your phone? Well, you're watching it on two things? Wait, what did I do? I thought I used the thing. <laughs> did it not work? Use. Okay. All right, hold on. Time out, everybody. I used this thing, but it did it not turn on the power? There we go. All right. Love it. Okay. Let's save our game. We've made a, a fair amount of progress. We're going to drop the... That in there. We'll keep what we got here. All right, the electricity is on. And then. Hmm. Oh, we should have saved our game. That's what we should have done. Oh, yeah, you're watching on the PS5 and messaging on the phone. That makes sense. Beast Wars? I never saw Beast Wars. Yoshi's Woolly World and Crafted World are great. I haven't played those either. Seventh Guest VR just came out. I heard that. Gym Master B. It's pretty cool. Really? Let's save. Let's beat the last boss. We can't beat the last boss, man. We gotta, like, unlock all the stuff. Right? Yes, use the ink ribbon. There we go. Alright, we got this. We need to... What do we need to do? We still need to freaking, uh, let's see here. Okay. I'm reading ahead about what's going on. Let's see here. All right, it says here, get the blue herb and move on. Kill the other zombies, grab the next herbs. Okay, head through the door. Once inside, grab the ammo on the cabinet. You can push the statue on the crack if you want, but it's only a map. Go down the next hallway until you reach the statue of a tiger. Grab the blue jewel of the tiger and the... Get the socket, replace the blue, and grab the red jewel. What in the... Hell, <laughs> what? Okay. Prepare for a zombie fest, it said. Oh, we couldn't go in here before because the door was locked. That's what it was. That's what we, that's what we were missing. Okay. Oh, look at this. This is like an homage to the beginning of Resident Evil 1. 
that like very first room in the right on the uh There we go. It said something about pushing the statue. Ah, oh, look at that. Maybe we can like push it up here and jump up on the uh cabinet to like grab it or something like that. Let's see. No, I bet it falls to the floor where that crack is. That's what's going to happen. It's going to fall through the floor. You heard of the PSP horror survival game? Yeah, dude. Keith, that's the... Uh, it's part of the... Uh, Parasite Eve series. I have it. I've played a little bit of it. Hello, Brent Soldix. It's nice to have you here, man. Sorry I'm like leaning over trying to read chat. It is the sequel. It's the third Parasite Eve game. If you want the AK, it's back at the storage where the serum is. It's in one of the lockers. Okay. Where was the serum? Can I pick up the serum already, or do I have to wait till Claire's already poisoned? Well, let's, we might as well just fill, finish this room off here. There's a door there. Okay. What's in here? Protective suits. Maybe you should put one of those on before you go in, buddy. Oh, you tried Dead Cells and you love it? Oh, man. Alright. That's not good. Okay. Fine. What the crap, dude? That's bad. That's bad. I guess this is the winged object, right? Okay. Part of a winged object. What's in here? Is there anything else in this room? Oh, and where's the map? There are. There are two other areas to go in. There's a green herb. Grab the green herb, dude. Do it. Yeah, man, take it. Of course, take it. <coughs> Uh-oh. My controller is vibrating. That usually means there's something bad in here. Like I said, I played a little bit of the third birthday. I couldn't get into it. Maybe I need to play the other games first. There's a noise that just appeared in my right ear that sounded just like the startup sound of the PlayStation 3 console. Very weird. Very weird. Right, what am I looking at here? What am I doing? As twins, Alexia and I are two sides of a coin. The design is carved under the name of Alexia. Ah. AA. So we got Heart Spade AA King. Okay. Uh, puzzle. Let's see here. Let's look at our little die. Check. Heart. So we got heart, spade, AA, king, in order. And then umbrella and biohazard. What? Heart spade AA king. So it's the opposite. 
So on the opposite, so it's AA King Heart Spade. AA King Heart Spade. AA King Heart Spade. I'm a genius. <laughs> uh, use. There we go. Give me something good, please. Not a boss fight. Oh my god. It's her dumb brother. Okay. Take Alfred's ring. Check. We're taking Alfred's ring. Love it. Alright, hold on. You want to get the books for what? Parasite Eve? Is the Panzer Dragoon remake worth getting? The one on like Switch? I have it, but I haven't played it. I heard it's decent. Not sure if the books are translated to English. The dice block. Look up the puzzle solution. No, man. I didn't have to look it up. I figured it out. Yep. You don't know how I figured that out? <laughs> really cool. They said they were two sides of the same coin, and they treated the dice block like it was a coin. And they gave an order, so I picked what was on the opposite. So it was like heart spade, AA king. So that means on the opposite side of the heart was the AA, and then you just follow around from that point on. Can't take any more items. Great. No. Let's, uh, how hurt am I? Oh, man. Um. Let's go on in here and see what happens. I'm, I'm better at the puzzles than I am the rest of the game. What, what am I looking at in here? Mind that with that. I have it's the freaking ink rhythms that. No, no, no. Hold on. Check this. Is there anything I'm missing? It's part of something. It's part of something. Okay. Let's check this. I'm supposed to check every item, right? <laughs> Do take the jewel. Take the jewel. Thank you. And then can I like combine Alfred's jewel with the wing or something? Can we combine this with this? No. Okay. Fine. What is this? Research report on Queen Ant. Crap. After discovering the remains of an ancient virus within the genes of the queen ant, I have been concentrating on the research of ants. Okay, the ecosystem of the ant seems truly ideal to me. There is one queen ant in each ant hill, and the soldier and worker ants are the queen's slaves. They dedicate their lives to the queen. The death of the queen ant hill ant means the doom of the entire ant hill. We gotta quill kill the queen ant, okay? However, the soldier and worker ants can be easily replaced as long as the queen ant is alive. This is exactly the same relationship between myself and the other ignorant masses. Okay. I succeeded in creating the ideal virus by implanting the queen ant's gene into the mother virus that Spencer found. Fascinating. Hmm. I used my otherwise useless father as a test subject. However, as I expected, the virus caused a rapid change in his cells, triggering the complete destruction of his brain cells and body flesh. Furthermore, the special type of poison gas was generated inside his body. That blue herb had no effect against. Because of this, I created the antidote in case of emergency and stored it inside the weapon chemical warehouse on the basement two floor. Okay. I have decided the name of this unimaginable potential, the name of this virus, the unimaginable potential, is the T. Veronica virus. When I find out how I can utilize the power of this wonderful virus, my great research will finally be complete. Okay. Strange things are afoot at the Circle K. All right. Is there anything over here? Use that. 
Look at that. What do you know, dude? What do you flipping know? What's in here? Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Run away. <laughs> nope. Backwards. 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 I'm fine if they grab me, because, like, I got to use some healing anyway, dude. I've got too much healing. <laughs> I know, dude. I know. Grab him. Did blood come out of him? What's going on over here? Is there still a dude milling around in here? There's some more handgun ammo. Let's grab that. Oh my god, Lord Sorrel, I gotta catch him on chat here. Oh. Hey, Kanisha, how's it going? It's alright. Is mm hmm? I think it's mm hmm. It's a humming noise. Retro said he just finished Days Gone, really enjoyed the title. Some of the main missions were mediocre, though. The zombie hordes, Elena was fantastic. I do want to try it. There's definitely a second wing somewhere, Greg Carmel. My only issue with Wolfstein is the same issue with Killzone. Sometimes the enemies just keep coming and coming and won't die for a checkpoint. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Do I have a very favorite species of turtle? I don't know. I don't know if I know any species of turtle other than box turtle. <laughs> Doom 2016 and Eternal have that. Doom 2016 was better than Doom Eternal, I felt like. Uh, Doom Eternal had a lot of annoying crap, especially like the platforming. Their make of Resident Evil 1 is on the GBA. I didn't know that. They don't give you enough health packs at time. You wouldn't mind so much if you could say it any time like Doom 3. Okay, I haven't played Doom 3 either. Okay. Nightmare Cow. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What's my favorite species of turtle? I don't know. I'm going to say box turtle. <laughs> but I don't know. Can we shoot her out of there? Okay. What, what was the purpose of this room? What is the purpose of this room? There's nothing in here. Can I get, can I get up in there? Like, can I crawl in there and become the queen ant? Snapping turtle? Okay, there you go. There's one I didn't think about. Or the one that lives to be a hundred. Those are like deep sea turtles, I guess. Dude, I don't know, man. Can I go in this hatch on the floor? Nope. Can I click the picture here? Can I push this? I guess it's just a room of herbs. I can't take any more items, man. What am I going to do, dude? No. I guess, like... How hurt is he? I guess take this. Use this. Thank you, Jim Harkin, for subscribing. I really appreciate that. We're getting, we're closing in on ten thousand. I think we got about like two fifty to go, or something like that. What is this? Is this another blue herb? So many blue herbs, man. So many blue herbs. All right. What was the purpose of this room? <laughs> what was the purpose of this room? I know that there's there's got to be something in here, right? Go down the next hallway until you reach the statue of a tiger. Grab the blue jewel of the tiger to get the socket. Replace the blue and grab the red jewel. What the crap, dude? I didn't see any... Anything like that. I didn't see any tiger statue at all. Did you guys see a tiger statue? I think it was bait for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Then I'm going to say Leonardo. Oh, bummer, dude. No. Don't use it. Freaking... 
Just eat the blue herb. Just eat it. Use it. Whatever. It's fine. Did I just eat it? Oh my god. It's like, find the statue of the freaking... I didn't see a tiger statue anywhere. Anything like that. Oh, I'm not there yet, Brent. I got a while to go, but I'm working on it. What's the most you ever paid for one single game? Uh, $800 or $750 is the most I ever paid. I paid $750 for Kuon. Oh, okay. Take the jewel, yes. Which jewel? The right jewel. Okay. And then we're gonna... Oh, yeah, baby. Take the magnum round. Oh, my God. There's, like, no room to put anything, dude. Uh, what? No. I gotta run back to the safe room, guys. I just... Not there. That is not the safe room direction. I gotta put some stuff away. I just got too much stuff. What's the most I ever paid for a, like a new release game? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I think I paid $150 for the Castlevania Requiem Collector's Edition. I think that's the most I've ever paid. Put the winged thing in there. Put that in there. Put that in there. Now run back where you came from, you dummy. <laughs> William Box says he likes how Mock put BJ and suck in the same sentence. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh, man, you guys. Hey, Mercury Silius. How's it going, brother? Glad to have you here. You paid 70 bucks for a steelbook version of Metroid Prime Trilogy. I have that same steelbook. This does need a remake. I would pay $1,000 for uh, your copy of Tamashi Retro. I'd give you 1000 bucks for it right now. It's in Vault 666. Yeah, I'd pay you 1000 bucks for it. All right, let's take the Magnum rounds. Yes. Put the jewel back. Then take the left one, right? Because there's going to be something on the other side of it. Okay. Then this is a... A socket. Okay. I don't, I don't know what to do with it, dude. <laughs> <sighs> All right. All right. It says here, it's like, we already did a bunch of this stuff, but like, go back and get, get Alfred's ring. Examine it. You get Alfred's jewel. Head back to the safe room. Make sure to have the shotgun. Exit and take the door to the right. Wait for a sweeper to come out. I don't know what that means. Grab the herbs. They're next to the doors. There are also two wing objects here. One by the edge of the pool and one by the carousel. Hmm. Okay. Well, we explored over there but never saw that. Let's look in here. Let's examine this. One, two, three. That's an octagon. 
That's what we do, buddy. We freaking put the uh, valve in that. The valve handle. That's what we flipping do. We put the valve handle in that. What's down here? It's locked. Okay. There's a biohazard key symbol. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. You paid $1,000 for a GPU? You paid $1,000 for rent? I don't make enough to justify that either, I guess. I just I just save up a lot. Good night, Blood Axe. Thanks for hanging out, man. Sweeper's probably a robot camera. That's probably right. Basically the same. You think of going for a complete PS2 Atlas publisher collection? That would be fun. That'd be really cool. Yeah, it would require Rule of Rose. I have that too. I paid about three fifty for it or so. No, I didn't pay that much. One eighty is how much I paid. Ultra collectors go through ultra decisions. Yeah, that's true. We do go through ultra decisions. We're gonna. Take the valve. This. There we go. We're gonna press the wrong button. We're gonna combine this with this. We did it. I knew it. I freaking knew it. I'm gonna put the magnum ammo in here. And then... Oh man, uh I need to go get the AK. It's in the room with the serum. Where was that? The AK is in the room with the serum. Uh I don't know, dude. I don't know. Hmm. There's a hack for Resident Evil Code Veronica on the Dreamcast that makes a Resident Evil Code Veronica X. That sounds cool. Look at that. The electricity is what made it turn on. I knew there was going to be something over here. A winged object. Yeah, take that. And then... What? It says there's one by the edge of the pool. Where's the one by the edge of the pool? There it is. Look at that. How do you get to it, though? How do you grab the one by the edge of the pool? What? What in the world, dude? Oh, yeah, dude. I remember now. The valve is in the room with the, uh, the water tank. It's the water tank. I remember now. I remember. Oh. Didn't know you could do that, buddy. Cool. Cool story, bro. Train the water using the valve, maybe. You have Tech Ogre on your shelf, but it's your buddy's game, although you never asked for it back when I remind him. It's a good one on the PlayStation 1. You got a PSVR the other day at a thrift store for 20 bucks. That's crazy. You hope your kids like it because it makes them makes you sick. You're not supposed to let them play it till they're 12, by the way. The Square Hollow, yeah, it, it's got to be. It is in that room where I have to drain the thing. Dude, everybody's talking about playing Mad Max. Yeah, I think Mad Max would be awesome to play. Uh, I just got to get it. I just got to pick up Mad Max, dude. Classic PS2 game design. I know, right? There's actually a Japanese Dreamcast version of Code Veronica X. It'll be easier to translate than that. I, maybe. <laughs> 
I have the uh, Japanese version of Code Veronica, the Biohazard, on Dreamcast. You pay more than forty dollars a game, and most I buy for twenty and under. Man, mine is still sealed, so it's maybe it's Tom. I haven't played either of the Rage games. Oh my god, we did it. We freaking did it. I can't believe it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? So annoying. <laughs> so annoying. 70% of your collection is sealed. Oh man. Wait a second. I think I went too far back. I think I went too far back. It's back behind me and in the room on the right. They're on Chris's left. I think about Mad Max is that the new movie sucked and I'm pretty sure that is where it's based on. I'll be in for the Mel Gibson Road Warrior style game. I thought everyone loved the new one. I thought it was decent. Everybody thought said it was the greatest thing ever. I did not think it was the greatest thing ever. Your local game shop has Blood Will Tell. Probably never been played for 350, and I'm heavily considering going in. I went the wrong way. Um, 350 seems a little high for it. See if you can talk them down to 300 and then go for it. I know where Bethesda is. My mom was born in Bethesda. I pass on sealed stuff because I want to play. I would always prefer to have everything not sealed. I don't really want anything sealed at all. To tell you the truth. There we go. I was that guy that kept everything sealed in the last five years and I started playing and busting the plastic off. I mean, I uh, I leave it sealed until I play it. And then once it's time to play it, I'll look at it. And if it's like... $35 for a sealed copy and $30 for a new copy, I'll open it. But if it's like $250 for a sealed copy and $60 for an open copy, I'll just play it digitally. There's the crane key, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. One, two, three. Oh, that was a good guess. All right. Well, we know where the freaking crane is. I know where that is. That's in the frozen room. But where was the room with the assault rifle, dude? I don't remember where that was. Man, I don't know. Power Roomy, I gotta bust it open. I don't know. I might just have to download it. I think there's being delisted though, right? Yes. What's this gonna do? I don't understand. <laughs> Who could have done this? Oh, it's him. Great. I love it. We're gonna have to fight him, aren't we? I'm so dumb. Alexia. I'm so dumb. How I dispose of insignificant bugs. Oh my god. Send a spider to the fly. How do you wish to die? <laughs> the spider or the guy? These are all bad. These are all bad things. Where's it going? Okay.
I just grab this? Do I even need to, like, fight the spider? Take the Alexander's Pierce. Yeah, I mean, take it, dude. Love it. I'm not going to die to this. Let's see here. Caution. I'm okay. Smash them all. Squish them. <laughs> Squish all the little guys. Do it. Squish them. Squish them. Squish them. Yeah. All right. Someone tell me where to get the assault rifle. Where's the assault rifle? Wasting all those rounds. I figured I had to fight them. I miss the days of thick manuals, especially those flight simulator games. Oh, my Lord. I can't handle that. She's a big one. Takeover that is probably like $50 for physical copy, and I paid like $13 for a digital copy. I mean, I'll do that, right? If it's like cheaper to buy the digital and not open it. It's downstairs. It's downstairs. I know it's in the room where the serum's at, but I can't think of where that is. Weapon storage. Already did extinguish the fire. Already did that. That's back down this way, right? All right, we'll go back that way. That's all we really have to do. There's nothing back the other way. I think I've covered everything. The reward for doing all this side stuff better be big. I think it's that I get to beat the game, right? That's the big reward. No, not that way yet. Maybe next time, maybe time to go retro and play Retro City Ransom. Dude, I would love to play some Retro City Ransom right now. Or River City Ransom, you mean? It's not in there. Where is that room? Let's go ahead and save our game, just to be safe. We can also combine, I bet, this. Oh, time out, time out. Go back, go back, go back, go back. We... Combine, combine this with this. You don't combine that with that, okay? You put all this crap in storage. Put you in storage. There, right there. We got three winged objects. We got this thing. I don't even know what it is. That goes there. We got this. That goes there. We take our ink ribbons. We have more ink ribbons, too, don't we? Just double check. We do. No, that we need that for Claire, right? Okay. Save your progress. Yeah, buddy. I remember DOS 2.1 coming out with a 350-page three-ring binder. Yeah, I remember that, too. You collect physical for PS2 in order. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to save. We already went to the mansion once and got to play as clear and then died. Because I assumed we would. But I do want to backtrack now and get the assault rifle. Or the AK. Uh, anyone interested in seeing Monkey Man? That's Dave Patel's movie, right? I don't know. Hey, Radio Durantson. How's it going, buddy? Thanks for coming to that... Uh, podcast yesterday. I appreciate you, man. You really like to Donkey Kong Country and DuckTales back then? Oh, I like those too. I assume they will screw up the new G.I. Joe game. I'm sure they will. Everdrives are emulation, but it's played on real hardware. You're emulating the games. Is 
this. This isn't the room, right? It's not this. It's not this. I gotta go back. I gotta go back up the elevator. That's the save room. This is the elevator. It leads me to the hallway with the elevator. Here's the elevator. Yep. And the mansion is down south of where I just passed. Okay. I assume they all screwed up. Yeah, you didn't know they were even making one. I want to play the new TMNT games coming out May 4th. I don't know. I'm on the fence about that one. It was kind of whatever. <laughs> I have not played Shredder's Revenge yet. I have it, but I have not played it. Man, I'm looking forward to it, though. All right, so the assault rifle is down here. It's downstairs. I, at the beginning of the game, I got a clip, and I thought it was for the SMGs, but I bet it's for that assault rifle, isn't it? Okay. Here's where the, the thing is. The serum's in here. All right, so the AK's in this room. Wait, the AK isn't in this room. This is where the Magnum was. And then over here was the handgun ammo. There's nothing left. We already did all this. Huh. Okay. What the crap? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I, I missed it. I think. Yeah, I missed the assault rifle. I missed it. I was supposed to leave it for Chris. I just never got it. You apparently find it like way back at the beginning of the game. All right. Well. All right. Hate doing this, but I'm getting like tired of playing this game. So I'm like, let's get a little help. It says here, it's time to go to the mansion. Check. All right. You got the jewel. We have all the wings, I think. Head through the double doors, go up the stairs, find the knife at the top. Okay. If clear is poison, head back to the room where you found the magnum, which is the room under the practice room. There will be about three zombies in there. Be ready. Grab the serum. We did that. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to head out of here. We're going to go... Friggin' Save clear. It's this way, right? I think it's this way. <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah. It's back this way. And then I get to the bottom floor, I walk out. That's it. We gotta go save clear. 
Dude, I've had so many people tell me that Stellar Blade sucks. I've had so many people be like, it's a garbage game. People tonight have said it'll be. Those lockers there in front of you is where the assault rifle is. All right, we'll go back and check. We'll go back and check and see if it's there. Okay. I want a game made of a hobo with a shotgun and villains be the play. That'd be okay. <laughs> That's a lie. All right, here we go. Here we go. And Brent, thank you for being a channel member too, by the way. I know I didn't say anything, but I appreciate that. Okay. You said it's in the lockers in front of me? These lo I didn't even realize these were lockers. There it is, buddy. That's the freaking assault rifle. Take the stupid assault rifle. Take it. We did it. We've got everything. We can progress the game now. We have the Magnum. We have the assault rifle. We have everything our heart desires. <laughs> it's time to move on. I remember bum fights. That was a strange time in history. <laughs> I think we're almost there, man. I think we're almost there. It says here. Grab the handgun bullets and shotgun shells with her. It says here. All right. You'll need two open spaces. One if you bring the combat knife with you. Grab the magnum. Okay. Now head through the double doors up the stairs. Find the knife at the top. Grab the combat knife from the upstairs walkway. Then go back and sell behind them. Clear as there. Cut her free with the knife. Clear and Chris were united. All right. Head back to the room. Put the magnum. Get the fire extinguisher. All this crap. Serum. We know how to do this. Okay. Make sure you have at least two first aid sprays or an herb that mixes to equal that. There's also no real point in taking your handgun and bullets because you won't be able to fight anything that a shotgun can't handle. Okay, well. Um, here's the safe room, right? Is that what's in here? I can't remember. I think this is a safe room. Yes, here we go. I understand buying new games being too expensive. Believe me, I get that. All right, we're going to leave for her. The assault rifle. We're going to leave the shotgun. We're going to leave the shotgun shells. We're going to leave... The mixed herb. We're going to... It said take the magnum, though, which I find to be so bizarre. Why take the magnum? And magnum bullets. I don't get that. I just don't get that. And then equip that, I guess. I don't know why it's telling me to take the Magnum. All right, I'm not going to take the Magnum. That seems dumb. All I want to do is take the handgun bullets because I remember when I went down there to get the serum before there were some zombies. We're just going to rock it like this. We're just going like this. Oh, and I need the combat knife because so I got to cut clear leaves. 
There we go. Here we go. Clear, Tom. Let's do it. Let's go save clear. It is not this way. This is not the way. It's this way. Take the machine gun with him? Really? The one with 5% left on it? Okay. Why not? Okay. All right. I'll take the machine gun with 5% left on it. I'm going to take the machine gun. I'm also going to save my game here in case I like screw up too much and I need to readjust things. Okay. We got plenty of ink cartridges. We'll save our game here because I know that when you die is clear, it starts you at the beginning of Claire's section. We'll find out here if we screw up royally. Yeah, Kanisha, I'm still in the facility. I have all the stuff I'm about to go save Claire, which I did before at the wrong time and had to reload. I have the Magnum. I have the assault rifle. I've got a whole bunch of ammo, a whole bunch of healing and crap. I'm going to go save Claire now and go kill Steve, <laughs> I guess. Unless there's a way to save him. This is the wrong way. This is not the way. There we go. But I only have three of the wings. I don't know if there's like another one I missed or something. I don't think there is. Oh, yeah, dude. That is the best Transformer scene by far. Where Unicron meets Megatron and converts him into, like, whatever the superpowered Megatron is. There's a, another combat knife. Just two combat knives? Okay. Sure. Why not? Yeah, she is behind the stairs. We knew that. But I just wanted to explore up here because I didn't do it last time. Here she is. Oh, my God, Claire. You need some kind of tool? Umbra Witcher, thank you so much for subscribing. We're getting a lot of subscribers tonight. Oh, good. It updated the... The bar, the progress bar. We know what happens with her. She stands up and then she faints. We got to go back and get the serum. We know where the serum is. It kind of is like the Resident Evil 1 mansion, isn't it, Lufty? Transformers 1986 is your favorite movie of all time. That's awesome. My favorite movie of all time, I think, is Gladiator. <laughs> Oh, I like it when he blasts Starscream, too. I've always loved the voice of Starscream. It's just so over-the-top and awesome. It's the only Transformers movie you acknowledge. It's the only one I know about, right? Well, I guess they're the Michael Bay live-action ones. I saw the first one. I thought it was not very good. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the Resident Evil mansion had a fountain. At least not in front of it. Titanic is your favorite movie of all time? Titanic's a good movie. I love Titanic. I was in love with Kate Winslet when that came out. That's fine. That's fine, too. Good thing we saved our game, huh? 
Good thing we saved our game. I was not going to do it. I'm glad I saved the game. Yes, yeah, Starscream and Cobra Commander sure is. They sure did have the same. Uh, they sure did have the same uh, voice actor. They absolutely did. That's 100% true. The trick here is to shoot one of them down and then move out of the way. Like, not an idiot. It's weird that, like, the mansion is, like, built into the side of the... Like, an industrial facility, right? Bring a blue herb. Everybody says that. The blue herb doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. You have to have the uh, serum. I mean, we can bring a blue herb with us. We have a million of them. But it doesn't do anything. The bows rich don't hurt the zombies in this version. You can shoot a zombie 150 times with the bow and it just like doesn't do anything. Kanisha, that's not true in this version at all. The blue herb doesn't do anything. You have to go find a serum, like a hidden item in the game. We tried that. I remembered to bring the blue herb. It doesn't work. Yeah, really. I brought one last time and it was just like nothing. And it's like you have to run to another area. It's like in Resident Evil 1 when the dude gets bit by the snake and you have to go get the antidote for him it's just like that you want someone to have make a courage the cowardly dog video game that would be so awesome would it nope use here we go skip it you watch. She stands up and she's like, I'm so sick. Chris. Thank you for saving me, Chris. Let's drink some more water. So much. I know. But we have to get out of here. Not yet. Apocalypto, you're talking about that Mill Gibson movie? Who's Steve? He's a boy who escaped from that island with me. She's like, he's my boyfriend, and Chris is like, I thought I was your boyfriend. So that means Steve is still somewhere in this base? I'm sure of it. can't be that guy anymore who doesn't embrace change or any new person playing my favorite characters. I think, I think I've been poisoned. She says I've been poisoned, right? We have the blue herb. Hold on. I'll be right back. I found the magnum in here somewhere down in that room before. See, it tells me I have to go get the item here. I've got the blue herb. I need serum. See, it won't let me do it. I have to get this, the serum. Oh, the blue herb you need, but not now. Okay. All right. Well, that's good to know. I do have to kill Steve, right? I don't just, like, run from him, right? Maybe it's later, Kanisha. Yeah, I did, William, and then I died. <laughs> I died to like three zombies down here by the serum. You just run from Steve, you don't like kill him at all? Oh my god, get off me, turd. Get get off me. What? Since when do they sprint? Since when do they sprint? Are you flipping kidding me? Oh my god. You can't kill Steve, you just have to run. 
Oh, my Lord. Okay. Uh, 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim. I don't know if it's good or not. I have it. We'll take a blue herb. I'm going to take these MP100 things. And I'm going to use those. I'm going to equip those. We're going to equip them. There we go. Oh, how far am I from the end, dude? It looks like I have a... It looks like I have a fair amount to go. Um... Uh, how close am I to the end, guys? Do you think I could do it in an hour? If I can't do it in an hour, I can't do it. I'm too tired. And I feel like I might actually be getting sick, so I'll probably call it. I'll give it one more try. Yeah, let's see how long it takes me to get. We'll We'll get past Steve. That's what we'll do. We'll get past Steve, and then not what I wanted to do. Oh, no, 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 no. Use this. Use it. It's all the sweet tea I'm sifting on? Yeah, I know, man. The, the sweet tea, it lowered my immune system. <laughs> We've been here for like 20 hours for this whole stream. I know Tony P, dude. I'm working on it, man. I promise. I'm working on it. I promise. The next one will be the end. It'll be the last one. It'll be the final stream. It's a long game, and it's hard as crap, man. I need some herbal tea. You're not joking. I need a lot right now. When I did this before, I used the shotgun shells, and it freaking, like, I just blasted their heads off immediately, but it's like, you gotta leave the shotgun for clear. I guess I could stop and put it back in the lockbox on my way back to healer. But for some reason, I just, like, don't want to do that. <laughs> I just don't want to do it. Done. Okay, we're out. Run. Oh my god. Get off me, freaking turd. Blood. We did it. We did it, guys. There's the serum. All right. Now we slowly limp back to clear. Slowly, slowly limp back to clear. Hope this isn't Chris's blood. They made this game harder than Resident Evil 2 on Hardcore. Yeah, they really did. This game is... I can't believe how hard it is. Like I said, if you guys didn't watch my second channel where I like beat the end game of Blasphemous in like an hour, everybody's like, it took me weeks to do that crap. Like, final boss, beat him on my fourth try. Then I was like, that can't be right. Oh, I got the bad ending. Okay, let's go kill the, like, ultimate DLC hard boss. Got her on, like, my fourth try. And then it was, let me go, uh, flipping, uh, kill the true last boss. Got it on my first try. And I was like, well, that was nothing. This is so much harder than that. <laughs> you haven't collected A Way Out on PS4? A Way Out's a really fun game, but it's co-op only. Yeah, it's like uh, It Takes Two. I thought it was better than It Takes Two. 
You played this game when you were 12. You died and quit and restarted so many times. I bet. I beat Resident Evil 2 Remake on both characters. I did the first one on... She does her stupid. Here we go. I did the first one on normal. And I did the second run through on hard, I think. And I think I did like a knife only run through or something. Maybe. Might Maybe I didn't. Better, huh? Yep. Now it's her turn. All right. She's separated from him. She goes in this room. There's a lock box in here. Now we need healing items. Take the handgun bullets. Check. Take the freaking herbs. Take the red herb. Take the red herb. Yes. Take the green herb. Then we're going to combine the red and the green herb. There we go. Then we're going to grab the shotgun ammo. And then, wait a second. What is back here? <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. You're just, just going to push it to the end of the hallway there, Claire? All right. What do I, what do I put on the hook? Is that where I put the shotgun? What is this? Flame rounds will take them. And then... Grenade rounds. And then take the shotgun back, I guess. Yeah, man, do it. You were 20 when this game came out? Me too. <laughs> Yeah, being this is like being a long, hard RPG game. Let's play Retro City Rampage. You know I have Retro City Rampage, the original release. It was the first indie release uh, physical game on the PS4. Take the bow. Use the bow to shoot the tentacles in the hallway. That's good advice. Play Shredder's Revenge. I have that too. Make sure you can create the 10 explosive arrows and save that in the box. I can do that. Jill Sandwich, yes. I'd love to see that dude play the older Monster Hunter games. No way, dude. What's up, AJT? How's it going? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I can craft explosive arrows. No problem. I've got... I mean, let's leave this in here. We don't need this, right? Boom. 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 And then let's leave that there. And then so we got. We have bow gun powder there. And then there's some arrows up ahead. I know that. I remember that part. But I don't need anything right now other than just healing items, right? And the shotgun. I need healing items. We got green herbs. We got mixed herbs. All right, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Brent, thanks for hanging out, dude. I appreciate it. Okay. Those explosive arrows are fat and deadly good on the final boss. We'll love that. Okay, we'll save it. Put the shotgun back in the box. Okay, I'll put the shotgun in the box. Are you sure? 
I am gonna... Let's see here. I know I need two healing items because the dude's gonna hit me. Because we talked about that last time. So I have... N this is what I need right here. Just two healing items. I'm 41. I'm old as hell. You sold your PSP Monster Hunter games? Oh, Lord. Handgun and bow are all you need and healing items. Okay. You beat this game last week? Sweet. All right. I'll take the handgun. I'll take the bow gun. I'll take the regular old handgun. And I'll take the ammo for the handgun. Now I'm going to go ahead and heal now. There's nothing else left in here, I don't think. We're going to equip the bow gun. So we have, like, infinite ammo for it. And then we can take out the freaking stupid tentacles. Which took, like, 15 or 19 shots each. How do you not get hit by that? Lot from the other side. Can I push anything? I know one pops out right freaking here, dude. But you can't not get hit by it. There's just no not getting hit. That's really annoying. That's really annoying. Oh, it didn't really do any damage. That's good. Hmm. Slow walk, maybe. Maybe. Maybe you're right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's the... I forgot about the zombie here. Okay, that's good. There wasn't anything in here, though. I remember thinking that was bizarre. Oh, there's just like not, there's just not anything in there. Oh yeah, we gotta do the crystal ball crap. I remember this. Okay. I remember all this. Here we go. First we're gonna run in here. We got bow gun arrows. We got more bow gun arrows. We'll leave these. We won't combine these. So we can save them for the explosive arrows at the end of the game. Right? Then we take this stupid thing. We read this before. About the self-detonation. Then there's a handle. You turn the handle. The, the thing falls out. You take it. Check. There we go. Then you stand right here. And you wait for the thing to fall. You stand right here and you, you wait for the thing to fall. And then you, right here, you, you use this. And then she backs out of the way. And then you walk forward and you grab it. We know what we're doing. Okay, I guess it turned off. There we go. That's good. That's fine. Then you go up here, and then there's like nothing you can do up here. I can't quite remember. Good luck. Thanks. Now, before you enter the room for Chris, for Steve, return the bow gun to Chris. Okay, I can do that. Remember Eternal Darkness, but never played it. It's a fantastic game. It's the best game on the GameCube. Uh, this is what I do. You guys can only play one game for the rest of your life, but it's going to be any game you wanted. What game would it be? Probably, like, the good version of, uh, there's all this crap. I don't think we can do anything with this. It would be Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus, I guess. Dark Souls 1 is a good choice, too. 
Yeah, nice no jewel sandwich. I know, right? Thank you, ASF Games, for subscribing. How many subscribers is that tonight? That's a bunch, dude. Wait, is this where I came in? This is where I came in. See, there's so much stuff like this in this game. Like, if you don't know to do this, what? Like, how are you supposed to do it? How are you supposed to do this? If you don't already know what to do. Just like infinite trial and error. Put this in here. Put this in here. There we go. Are we good? Now we go fight Steve. There's no safe spot in here, right? Tetris is a good one, too. Dude, Age of Empires is another good choice. That's a really good one. I have one. But I've got full help. Should I grab another healing item? Need at least two full heal items. Okay, I don't think I have that. I have a first aid spray. People told me I needed to save a first aid spray for the end of the game. Is this that spot? Is this that spot, or do I need to, like, maintain my first aid spray? Because I don't, outside of that first aid spray, I don't think I got one. We have the first aid spray. We have the Dara Lumen case. Yeah, I know. I figured it was... Let's check this. Yeah, use the lock pick. Take the magnum rounds. There we go. Yep, I, all I have is this, I have a green herb and a blue herb, and a blue herb and a blue herb, and a blue herb, and a first aid spray. All right, all right. So I have my two first aid sprays. I don't need any more, right? Am I going to be okay? All right, let me practice quick turning. How do you quick turn? That's not how you quick turn. How do you quick turn? How do you quick turn? <laughs> Is it down circle? Down circle. Down circle. Down circle. Okay. Got it. Okay. You see like how the chest opening sounds like someone is trying and failing to hide a fart. That's funny. You're not wrong. <laughs> Down, circle, and run. This is it right here, right? Here we go. All right, here we go. Is there anything in here? Nope. Just just good old Steve. Alright. I'm cautioned. Do I keep going? Do I keep going? We did it. We did it with one healing item. <laughs> Down circle seems like a good name for a new metal band. You're not joking. That was a close call.
Oh, jeez. Oh, no. <gasps> this is why I need the blue herb, right? <laughs> oh, Lord. What's about to happen? What's about to happen? No. Steve going to save her? Still in there. Will you go with me to the prom? <laughs> oh, it's so good. Chris will need the blue herb. Okay. If we're going to do two games now, I would say Dark Souls 1 and Symphony of the Night. Mm. I picked Symphony of the Night and. I don't know, man. Maybe Dead Souls. This seems like a good one. <laughs> oh, the poor kid. We've got to hang in there, okay? Uh, my brother's come to save us. We're getting out of here. He's not going to make it. Chris. Your brother kept his promise. But you didn't. Oh, I thought you say you said you'd save me. You I'm glad that I Dead Souls, yeah, it's supposed to be great. I... But right now, if I had to pick, I would do Binding of Isaac and Castlevania. I love you, dude. You've known, you've spent a grand total of five minutes of your life with him. I guess you were on that plane for a little while. He just wanted to be with his dad, right? There's all this, like, exposition for stuff you don't know about. Like, you meet his dad the first time, he's like, Dad! I'm like, we just met this dude. Good game, Steve. Oh, man. Poor Steve. Poor Steve. He's going to die without ever getting his first kiss. He's just been hiding here the whole time. I love it. I love it. At last. But no, I haven't played Dead Souls yet. Come with me. <laughs> You're responsible for the creation of the T Veronica virus. And now the only existing sample is in your body. I want it. Now. Man. Albert Wesker's such a douche. I love how uh, someone put profanity in the chat and it like filtered it out in the YouTube chat, but it showed up on the live stream. <laughs> Whoa, she dropped something. It's her ring, right? Wow. Man, very impressive. He's like, you're the perfect woman. Whoa. What if they just fall? What if this is the end of the game? We just watch Albert Wesker and Alexia fight, and then it's just over. <laughs> you're coming with me. It did become Parasite Eve. Or so I think. Why was the wall bloody when he, like... <laughs> he just, like, cold cocked her. It's so good. It's so good. Chris, Chris what are you doing here? Isn't like Wesker basically immortal? Like, what does he care that he got set on fire a little bit? One of my best men. I'll let you handle this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Please don't tell me I have a boss fight right now. What? What? 
Oh, Lord. Let me guess. Back is clear at the beginning of the boss fight? Oh, thank God. Okay. Where do I run to? To the door? God. Oh, God. Down plus circle? I guess I have to fight her? No. <laughs> I know I have to run. Oh, I know it's not a fight. Okay, I just got to run away. I just have to know how to run away. Down plus circle. Jesus. All right, grab the combat knife, dummy. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> Use blue herb or help. Okay. I cannot finish this game tonight. There's not enough time. I gotta use the combat knife on her? Oh my god. I mean, I have the combat knife. You just can't let her touch you? All right, hold on, time out. All right, Stephen O'Callahan says, I just came across you during your collection review, and now you're playing one of my favorite games ever. That's awesome. Lee. Definitely the hardest, yes. Handgun, okay. No, no knife, use blue herb. Why use blue herb? It won't do anything. See? Run forward. <laughs> okay. Why am I using the blue herb? It doesn't do anything. This is why they said put the magnum on him. This is why they said put the ma leave the magnum on him earlier for this fight. I knew it. Exactly. I didn't bring the magnum. So everybody's like, don't bring the magnum. Everybody's like, don't bring the magnum. Okay. I was like, you sure? It said to bring the Magnum. I don't have the Magnum. You're coming with me. All right. You didn't know I was on danger? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on danger. It's pretty bad. I'm probably going to have to reload like an hour back or something. This isn't the final boss. This is like, we're at the halfway point. Hard mode with pistol in danger. I know. How many times do I have to shoot her? Like 15 or something? <laughs> All right, we'll see what we can do. Maybe I'll pull it off. Maybe I'll be like a good gamer for once.
just the fire hitting me. Just reload from the last save point. Oh, my Lord. Uh, we're going to try it a couple more times. Dude, the last save point was way back. It was way, 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 way back. I mean, it's leaving me a knife, which makes me think, like, you can beat it with a knife. <laughs> we can't reload from the last save point and do it again, man. I'm too tired. We'll try this a few more times, and then I'm going to have to call it. Next week will be the final stream. We'll finish it on number one, or, like, on number eight. That'll be it. This is my. This is all I got in me. We'll try it a few more times, see if I can pull it out. Maybe I can just be good. One. Down. Two. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, we're going to give it one more try. I'm going to give it one more try, and then I have to call it. We're already 30 minutes past. I'm, like, losing my voice. Last time this happened, I lost my voice for, like, five days. We can't let that happen again. She might burn you if I cross her. Yeah, that's true. She's flaming. That's it. We'll have to we'll have to load an earlier save. No. We can't do it, guys. Sorry. That's too hard. We'll remember to put the magnum on. Yeah, I know. Remember when I was playing Halo and everybody said I was at the end and then it was four out five hours later? <laughs> I very much remember that. Bring sprays. There aren't any sprays, dude. There's two healing items left. In this whole game. And I've got to use them for clear. But we'll get it next time. We'll put the magnum on this guy. And we'll unload on her. We got 18 magnum rounds. We'll be okay. And a whole buttload of grenade rounds and all kinds of stuff. We'll be okay. We'll do it. But thank you so much guys for coming out. I've got to look at the new camera. There's the new camera. Hello new camera. It's not new camera. But it's a uh, good camera. <laughs> it's good camera. Thanks so much for hanging out, everyone. Thank you for checking out the stream. And thank you to all the new subscribers. I really appreciate that. Sorry I couldn't finish the game off tonight. I'm very close. We'll get it next time. And then shortly after that, we will be playing Silver Surfer on the NES. And then after that, we're going to be playing... I'm sure if people donate another $30, we're going to be playing uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. The dumbest name, Revengeance. But we'll play it. It'll be good. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you coming out. Everyone have a great night. Have a great work week. I'll catch you guys later. I'm ending the stream right now. Oh, yeah, everybody can donate. I'll give everybody here. I'll give everybody 30 seconds to donate if you guys want to, since somebody brought it up. I don't think we got any this stream. Did we? No, we didn't get any of this stream. Yeah, William Brock gave $50 last week. He sure did. We're close. We're close. But you don't have to donate. You can if you want to. We'll probably get more donations next week when we actually finish the game. <laughs> anyway, everybody have a great night. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in a week. Same time, 8 o'clock Central Standard Time. Thank you so much.